Hello everyone and welcome back. And today we have another Black History Month talk. Now, for many, many years, as long as I've been alive, I've always I've always heard this one question. I've even asked it myself when I was younger. And it's a question a lot of people just it's it's a it's always a question that leads into a kind of a rant argument. And that question is why is Black History Month in February in the first place? Why is it in, why is it in February? You have 12 months out of the year. Why why was February picked as the month for Black History Month? It's the shortest month of the year. So you, know, you, hear, you hear a lot of people complain about, you know, February being the shortest month of the year, so you don't really have enough days to celebrate um Many African Americans throughout history, like like you can't you know like African Americans just only stuck to February. So why is that? And the answer is quite simple. But I have more the more the more I know about it, the more questions I have. Right. So here's the thing: Black History Month, for those who don't know, was started by a man named Carter G. Woodson in 1926. Actually, it was it was Carter G. Woodson. And the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History in 1926. Okay. Like I said, as a way to, you know, reflect back and remember all the contributions that went unnoticed by society from African Americans. Okay. And it was chosen, it was, for, at first, it was, um, it was called Negro History Week. When Carter G. Wilson started it, it was called Negro History Week, and it was set to be on the second week of February. Okay, and the reason why was because he wanted to put it in conjunction with the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln, which was February 12th, and Frederick Douglass, which was February 14th. They're two days apart. Okay, so... I'm assuming that his thought process was when you have the, you know, the signer of the Emancipation Proclamation, Abraham Lincoln, and you have an slave abolitionist, Frederick Douglass, coming together for this. I believe he thought, okay, well, how about we, how about we celebrate Black History Month on two figures that helped, no some doing air quotes, helped free African slaves in 1865. Okay? The Emancipation Proclamation, you know, the slave was about 1865. Abraham Lincoln was president during that time. And there, you know, Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass had a meeting of the minds, so to speak, during that time. Actually, I had to, I, I have a book I'm trying to find it. It's, it's called Giants. It's a book called Giants. I forgot the author's name, but the book talks about the correspondence between uh, Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln on the topic of slavery. Okay, so for those who also know, Black History Month isn't just celebrated in the United States. From my understanding, it's also celebrated in Canada, the United Kingdom. In the Netherlands, as of 2016, so it's it's an American observation holiday, but it was it started being celebrated in United Kingdom in eight. I'm um, sorry, in first of all, it became Black History Month in 1976. It was Negro History Week in, in 1926. Became Black History Month in 1976, and the UK uh, started celebrating it in 1987, and Canada started celebrating it in 1995, and the Netherlands just started celebrating it in 2016. So it was recent that the Netherlands started celebrating it because people realized that Africans weren't just taken from Africa to the US. They were taken to, they traveled, and they were taken to all of different parts of the world. It's called a diaspora, the African diaspora. I mean, like dispersed diaspora, you know, to split apart, to spread out. 
So with that being said, <clears throat> he chose the second week of February to celebrate this, like I said, in conjunction with the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. Now, that's that's the simple answer as to why it is in February. Why Black History Month is in February. And I wonder, I wondered this years ago, and I still do, with the information that we know now of how Abraham Lincoln actually felt about um, freeing the African slaves, we know in actuality that Abraham Lincoln, one, felt as though the slaves were mentally inferior. We He, he said this with his own words. He felt that though we were mentally inferior, right? And actually, hold on. Let me see if I can pull this up. Hold on. Right now. <clears throat> I wonder if Carter G. Woodson knew how Abraham Lincoln felt about slavery. I mean, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I wonder if Carter G. Woodson knew how Abraham Lincoln sort of felt about slavery. Would he still have made Negro History Week and we still have put it in February. Now, here's a quote from Abraham Lincoln. Okay. This is from that uh, he, both Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas, uh, in Charleston, Illinois, on September 18th, 1857. It says, Lincoln made his position clear when he said, and I quote, I will say then that I am not nor have I ever been in favor of bringing about in any way the social and political equality of the blacks and white races. Okay? That's a quote from him. So, what was the actual reason for him freeing his slaves in the Emancipation Proclamation? If we know he felt like this, what was the reason for him, for him freeing his slaves? Well, we know that it was actually a political move to really stick it to the South, okay? Because the North was industrial and the South was agrarian, (laughs) meaning they they used free labor, slave labor, for agricultural reasons, okay? Both the North and South had slaves. That's just, let's get that myth out of the way. Both the North and South did have slavery. Just one was industrial, one was agro, um, agrarian. <clears throat> so, and the South didn't want to join the North. They wanted they wanted to succeed the Union. They wanted to split apart and have their own independent country, the South. The North, the Union, didn't want that. And the Union and the Confederates fought thus bringing the Civil War. The the um, Confederate lost, okay? And as a result of that lost, lost, Abraham Lincoln emancipated the slaves, okay? Hence, hence the day Juneteenth, June 19th, okay? But that has nothing to do morally with why Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. It wasn't a moral reason why Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves from the Emancipation Proclamation. So my question is, if Carter G. Woodson knew this in advance, if Carter G. Woodson was privy to Abraham Lincoln's words, because this, this is 1926 when uh, Carter G. Woodson did this, so this is a long time ago. This is almost 100 years ago. There wasn't as much information out then as there is now. So, the question I have is, if Carter G. Woodson was privy to this information, if Carter G. Woodson knew that Abraham Lincoln said this about blacks, would he have chosen February to be the month for Black hist- for uh, Negro History Week? I asked that question. Now, it's okay. Let's just say, let's just say, for the sake of argument, what if 
he found this out. He found this information out. And Carter G. Wilson said, oh, no, 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 no. You know, Abraham Lincoln ain't the man I thought he was worthy to be celebrated. I want to, I still want to have a time to remember the accomplishments of blacks, but I don't want to choose February. So what what should I do? I mean, you can choose you can choose a lot of names. You could choose Nat. You have you have New York History Week on your birthday or your birth your birth uh College of Woodson's birth month. You could have it on, you know, the Haitian Revolution. You could do that. He he could he could have had he could have had it on the month of the Haitian Revolution. Um, let's see. There's many things. There's many things he could have done. But since we now know, since we now know this about black, about Abraham Lincoln's actual views on blacks in slavery, that he didn't, that he really didn't want them to be on equal footing. Okay, he didn't want it to be. He only freed them as a slight to the South. That's why he did it. There's another quote we say, you know, if, if, if he can keep the union and the slaves, he would have. That that's what it says. If if he could if he could keep the South in the Union and they keep their slaves, Abraham Lincoln would have. That's just that's just the facts of it. Yes. He emancip- he freed the slaves. That is true. Yes, he did. Emancipation Proclamation, 1865. Yes, he did. But under what guise did he do it? Was it for moral reasons? <laughs> Was it for political reasons? Knowing how he actually felt? Knowing that in 1858, that's how he felt? Did he change his views? From 1858 to 1865, did he change his views? Or did he always feel this way even after he freed the slaves? Would Carter G. Woodson have made Negro History Week and was turned to Black History Month? Would he have kept it in February if he knew these words were from Abraham Lincoln? Would he? And now that we know these words exist... And they come from the man that, well, it comes from uh, Abraham Lincoln. And that's part of the reason why Black History Month is in February. Now that we know this, should Black History Month be changed to a different month? Since February is the birth month of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, and that's the reason why Carl G. Wilson chose it, because of those two men. Now that we know this about one of those men, should Black History Month still be in February? Should it be changed? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Should it should it be changed? I mean, forget the whole. You know, it's 28 days, sometimes 29 days of February. I'm not. No, no, no. That ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with why he chose it. But now that we know this information, should Black History Month still be in February? What do you all think about that? Put in the comment section if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying. Should should it be? Should we keep it in February because of Frederick Douglass? Or should we change the month because of what we really know about Abraham Lincoln? Because we still want to keep, we still want to remember the accomplishments of African Americans throughout history. We still remember them. We're going to remember, we're going to keep that going. But do we want to change, do we want to change the paradigm of things? Do we want to rewrite history to make it more accurate? Would he have celeb- Would he have done this had he? Would Kaji Woods have done this had he known how? If he was privy to this information, did Kaji Woods know that Abraham Lincoln said this? Did he know? Probably not. Probably, probably not. I, I, I don't think at that time the information that you know that's that's out now a lot of it was hidden from us during that time 1926 life information that we knew was hidden so you know would he have would he have still chosen february as the month had he known this 
let me know what y'all think about that. You know, write the, write your comments down below, and let me know. Let's have a talk. I'll catch you all later. Peace.